right there. Oh, please, it's M. Wonderman coming at you one more time. I'm at one of my favorite places. Now, the first thing you might notice, I got a different hat on. The reason I got this hat on, I bought this from a friend, and I am about to partake in two pastimes that I truly enjoy, in an environment that I truly enjoy. So as you can see behind me right back here, there's a beautiful, beautiful clear mountain stream just running melt water right down from the mountains. It's so pretty. And I bet you can hear it. I hope you can hear me too. So what I'm going to do here is there are a couple of things that I really do enjoy, no matter where I'm at. And the first one has got to do with this sign on my hat. And I'm talking about this. Bush beer. I love my bush beer. And they say it was born in the mountains. I don't know how they got it into this bottle, but you can see on there, they got pictures of mountains for sure. So, here's to the mountains. Now, the other thing I thoroughly enjoy, sometimes by itself, sometimes along with my boy's beer, is one of these guys right here. A big old stogie cigar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to light this up right while we're here talking. So I take this wrapper up. And I don't like, they have these pretty, pretty bands on them. But I don't like smoking with the bands. So I'm going to take the bands off too. There it goes. Now, as I told you in a video once before, when you get these, they seal up tight in the drum. You couldn't suck the smoke through there no matter how hard you try. So what you gotta do is you use a little clipper like this to clip the end off, like this. That is, now you can see there's holes in the end. Like smoke. Time to light up with my favorite lighter. This is my Indian lighter, my Native American lighter. I just love this thing. I don't remember where I got it. I've had it for so long, but I love it. It's pretty, ain't it pretty? So here we are. I'm sitting here, out in the middle of somewhere, I don't know where. Smoking my cigar, having myself my bush beer. And old Clarence is sitting right over there behind the camera. He's the one who brought me here. I couldn't get here without him. He's so cool. So I decided to take this four-wheel drive trail back to the North Half Moon Trailhead. I had planned on doing a hike from there, but my old feet just gave out and I just can't do any more hiking. So I come back here in Clarence just to see what it's like. And it's sure pretty. We got a stream running by the road most of the way. Lots of spruce and pine and fir and aspens. I love them aspens. They're so cool. So I'm just sitting here relaxing. I don't even really have nothing to tell you. Except I'm having a fine time, as I usually do, especially out in the woods. Any woods is good, but the Rocky Mountain woods is just different. I like my woods back in Missouri, and we have some clear streams too. 
But I guess I'm kind of used to it since I grew up there. So when I get out to the Rockies, it's so different. It's kind of special. So I just sit out here and just enjoy it. Cool breeze, low humidity, not like St. Louis with that high humidity. And a beautiful tumbling mountain stream just sitting there talking to me saying thank you for coming and visiting now as you can tell I don't got nothing to say on this video I just wanted to sit down have myself a seagull by this mountain stream have my bush beer talk to you folks a little bit you know Ever since I was a little kid, I used to like to go out into the woods. Down the street from my house where I grew up, there was a creek. And along that creek was a strip of woods. Now this wasn't a very big creek. And the strip of woods weren't too long, but it had a path going through it, right next to the creek. I spent countless hours down there walking that path, imagine I was exploring. I'd walk down there in the summer, in the spring, in the fall, in the winter. I'd go through there in the snow, and the snow was almost up to my knees. I had an adventure for a young boy. And I guess that instilled in me the love for the outdoors and for exploring. Because I find, whether I'm walking or riding, driving, I want to see where it goes, where the path goes, where the road goes, where anything goes. Sometimes it goes to a place that's the same as where I just come from. Sometimes it comes to a place like this, it's just special. So, I've always loved outdoors. I am at peace in the outdoors, in the silence with just nature talking to me, like this little brook, this little creek behind me is doing right now. So later on today, I got a couple other places I'm going to go, but it's going to take me a while to get off this four-wheel drive trail. Cause it's a bumpity thing. As I find out they all are out here. But Clarence, he got no problem. He got no problem. He just rock and roll right over those bumpity bumpity bumps. And we're just fine. So anyway, I'm going to tell you all goodbye for now. Because I'm just rambling, not even telling you nothing. And I'll be talking to you later. Okay? This is Clarence. Did I call myself Clarence earlier? Oh my gosh. I don't know if I did. I do that every once in a while. I don't know why I want to call myself Clarence with my Jeep is named Clarence. I'm Cletus. Cletus M. Wonderman. Oh my goodness gracious. I made that mistake on a video earlier and I had to put in an Apollo G and a correction. I won't do it this time because I caught it. I am Cletus. I am not Clarence. Clarence come over here and he drive right over me if I keep saying I him. So anyway, clear this Sam morning, sitting here by a beautiful Rocky Mountain stream with a little bug on my nose, a bush beer, and my seagull. I'll catch you later. Hope you're having a fine day too. Bye now.